We're on in. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. Last week um, I said that if there's any interest for it I would try to see if I could come up with 100 cool robot related projects. The first thing you should do look at letsmakerobots.com slash start that is a guide that will teach you everything you need to know to get started you learn how to work with the microcontroller it's very easy you'll make your first robot it's really really easy your dog can do it and it will teach you everything you can work with microcontrollers it's not a problem you just have to start if you have an old remote control car there's a big chance that it's broke. This one is broke right here. Do not throw it away. You have the motor and uh, to, uh, to power the motor you have an electronic speed controller, you have a receiver and there is a servo uh, in front to do, the, uh, to do the steering. This is the receiver, it's got an antenna and when it's powered then this thing, when you do something here, little signals are sent out through the two plugs in here. Now the two plugs are completely compatible with any standard servo. Any standard servo has like three wires, it's got um, a dark one which is ground and it's got a red one which is uh, voltage 5 volt and then it's got a lighter one which is the signal. It doesn't matter what you hook up to them, it can be the electronic speed controller, it can be a servo, it can be anything. The electronic speed controller, it has the same style of plug and it has this cable that goes to your battery and it has these two that goes to your motor. What I have here is a quad pod. And you can see it's got uh, electronic speed controllers uh, that can take 6 amps and uh, each for each motor. And uh, you can also see that the motor has uh, 3 wires going to it, uh, meaning it's a, it's a brushless motor. You can lock the differential drive so it won't be doing this, but it'll always drive both wheels at the same time, at the same speed. You can get these kind of tires. Well, it's not really a tire, it's a very hard thing. It means that the car is really just sliding around. It's, it's not really driving, it's, it's sort of sliding all the time. But the problem in, in doing this is that instead of sliding around uh, in the corners, it'll start you know, spinning, it'll completely over uh, stir. You want it to stir to the other direction. And you can just let the microcontroller do that. But instead of the receiver, you can actually just hook up your microcontroller. And since this one is feeding 5 volts because it's getting power from your huge uh, battery, you can power your microcontroller from this thing. And you can control a very powerful motor. If you made project number one, you'll know that you can actually easily control a standard servo with a microcontroller. Right here, place a microcontroller. Instead of having the electronic speed control linked straight up to the receiver, plug this thing into the microcontroller. Plug the steering servo onto the microcontroller. Now the microcontroller has full control over it. Plug the receiver to your microcontroller. The microcontroller can read what you are doing with your remote control. And you can send that straight on to the servo and to the electronic speed control. And then if you add a gyroscope to the microcontroller, the microcontroller will know if the car is driving 
or, or, or you know sliding slightly or if it's sliding fast the microcontroller listening what you're trying to do and uh, checking how the car is moving about and then uh, overriding uh, your commands and uh, taking charge if it's uh, if, if it starts spinning then you can adjust the parameters in, in your programming code and you can make your uh, remote control car slide around in corners just like you know next week i'll try to show you something cool you can do with little cheap cars like this one